Hello everybody and welcome back. Uh, and I'm here again with some Hearthstone. Uh, but before we get started on that, just a couple quick pieces of business. Uh, if you check below the stream here, and I'll try to include it in the YouTube description as well, uh, you can find a link to my blog, uh, and also a link to the YouTube archive of all of my past streams, all the stuff I've done so far. And uh, speaking of the blog, on my latest entry, <clears throat> I, one of the games I covered was Dreamfall Chapters, uh, which is an adventure game, episodic. Uh, at the time, there was only the first chapter available. I really enjoyed it. And uh, I believe last week, or maybe the week before, they released Chapter 2. So I'm going to have to get into some of that. Um, and I don't think I'll necessarily be streaming it, because it's an adventure game, kind of slow-paced. I don't think it would be the most exciting thing to watch. Um, but I'll probably do another vlog update, let you know what I think about Chapter 2. And yeah, and uh, go from there. So, today on the stream, uh, I'm going to be jumping back into Hearthstone. If you caught the last stream, then you already know, but if you didn't, uh, last time around, I played some ranked games, and shockingly enough, I went like nine games in a row that I won, and then, you know, went for the tenth win, lost it at the end, but who cares? I won nine damn ranked games in a row. I've never done that well with this game, and I have not even touched it in months. Um, I was originally planning to try and do an arena also last stream, but, you know, when you're on a roll like that, you just got to keep rolling, right? So, figured this time around, I'll stream this game again. We'll uh, check out the adventure, or the arena mode first. Uh, use some of the gold that I earned last time around to pay for that. And then I'll probably jump in and do part of the adventure mode. Uh, I was talking to my wife about it. She plays Hearthstone a lot. Um... And she said it's cool, it's really challenging, uh, but I figured I should give that a shot and just kind of see what happens. So, let's start out here uh, with the adventure, or with the arena mode. Uh, so, we'll just start jumping into that. Uh, so, if you're not familiar, uh, you can buy an arena at any time. Uh, you can either pay 150 gold, which isn't that hard to earn, you know, it takes a little bit of time, you want to complete, complete your daily challenges to earn bonus gold to sort of cover that cost, or you can pay $1.99, which isn't too bad. Um, and at the end of Adventure, or I keep getting them confused, at the end of the arena, you get, you're guaranteed to get at least one pack of cards. Uh, you can also just straight up buy decks of cards, but if you're going to be earning it along the way, you're, in my opinion, better off just, you know, taking your shot at an arena mode. Because, you know, there is a chance that you'll do well and you'll earn, you know, extra decks of cards. And, you know, just kind of come out better for it. And you're always guaranteed to get at least one. So, that's typically what I like to do. So, we're going to do that. 150 gold. There we go. Alright, now... In the arena mode, uh, you don't get to choose from all six classes. You have to pick one of whichever three randomly it presents to you. So here I have a choice of Priest, Paladin, or Mage. Uh, now I'd say that I probably have more experience with Mage, but since I jumped in on the last stream, literally the only class I have played is uh, the Hunter. And you saw me play in that last stream. Uh, I played against my wife a little bit last night and one game today. Um, so yeah, so I'm not necessarily all that familiar with any of these classes anymore, but I think I'm going to I think I'm going to stick with Mage, the one that I do have more experience with. I was never very good with Priest. I don't really remember even much about what Paladins do. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go with Mage. So you pick that. Will prevail. Shows you a little hero power here, which can be useful. Choose that. And then you have to create your deck of 30 cards, and this is how you do it. It's basically going to, going to present you with three cards at a time, and you have to pick one of the three. And you're going to just keep doing that until you have a deck of 30. So you kind of want to keep in mind what you've picked so far. I think it shows it here on the, on the right-hand side also. You know, kind of get a good balance uh, for your deck. Um, <sighs> Power of Blast, that's a big damage card for Mage, so I'm going to go with that. Duplicate. When a friendly companion dies, put two copies of it into your hand. I think I'm going to use that also. I think my wife may have used that on me. Or no, somebody else used that on me the other night. Might have been my wife. I don't know. But it seemed pretty useful for them. Yeah, let's do that. I definitely need to start picking up some minion cards, but Arcane Intellect is super useful. Keeps cards in your hand, and that's really what you need. So, 
Also, you'll notice down here, uh, this is basically showing you the uh, cost of the cards that you currently have in your deck, so you can kind of balance it that way as well to make sure you don't have a whole bunch of like high cost cards and nothing for the early game. If you summon a minion with death rattle, gain plus one attack. That's kind of cool, kind of specific. And then this mech card is uh, definitely from the newer expansion that Goblins and Gnomes think they put out. But I don't think I'm going to focus on a mech deck. Because um, there's no guarantee that I'm going to get a bunch more. Uh, that is pretty useful, though. Freeze any character damaged by this minion. I'm going to go with the Undertaker. Frost Nova freeze all enemies. That's useful. I really start... Uh, mm, really got to start getting some minions here. But yeah, I'll go with that. Okay, this is all minions here, so let's see. Charge, I'm familiar with that card, that's a good one. Wind Fury, that's not too bad, but the damage is really low. Spells cost one less. And uh, you can tell by the uh, the outline here how this is blue, kind of has those runes around it. That is a uh, card that is specific to mages. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go with that because spells are a big part of mages, and also I've been kind of... You know, focusing on, yeah, I've got a lot of uh, spell cards here. Wind Fury or Cone of Cold. Freeze a minion and the minions next to it, and deal one damage to them. It's a good card. I'm gonna go with, yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Let's see what we got here. I'm gonna cast a spell on a minion, so I'm gonna one three as the new targets. Okay, yeah, so that's like a trap. It's a secret card. Transform a friendly minion into a random minion with the same cost. Hmm. That seems like it could be good, but it could also screw you over. Eh, I'm gonna take the risk. What else we got here? Okay, Polymorph. That's a, that is uh, an extremely useful card. It allows you to transform... Uh, one of the other uh, enemies into like a 1-1 one, one sheep, which is super useful if they throw out some like high damage, high health card. You can transform it into a card that is practically useless. Ice Barrier is pretty good too, but I'm going to take the Polymorph. Mind Control Tech. If your opponent has four or more minions, take control of one random one. With the Azure Drake, that could also be pretty good. Mm, all these cards are pretty uh, pretty good. I don't have any five cost cards yet, so I'll probably go with one of these two. Spell damage is important for a mage. And you get to draw a card with that. This one is a taunt card, which I don't think I have any of those yet. And it'll summon a taunt card when it dies. Oh boy. I'm gonna go with that. Probably making some bad choices here, but what you gonna do? You gotta just go with something, you know? It's a good low cost card, it's a good mid range. I think I. Yeah, that's a taunt card, that's also a 5, so I'm gonna go with that one. Good early game card there. Dread Corsair, cost one less per attack of your weapon. I don't have a weapon. It's a charge, it's a wind fury. I will go with the Young Dragonhawk. Okay, we're 12 cards in, so we got a little more than halfway to go. I believe it's a Sergeant. That can actually be pretty good. Um, it'll give plus two attack uh, only for that turn to one of them. Frost Nova. Do I already have those? Yeah, I have a Frost Nova. I'm going to take that guy because I do need more minions, I feel. Battle Cry. Silence Minion. That can be very useful. Silence basically. Uh, neutralizes whatever uh, effects that are written on a uh, minion's card. So if they throw out a minion that has like some pretty, you know, badass effects to it, you can basically neutralize it that way. That'll also take down like, you know, taunt uh, counts as an effect. So you basically you can neutralize one of their taunt cards that they have protecting them, which can be super useful. Minions cost three more. That kind of sucks. It's a high damage card, but I don't think I'm going to go with that. It's very risky. Taunt and a death rattle deal one damage to all minions. That includes mine. 
Priestess of Loon. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. Restores four to my hero. Seems useful. I already have one of these duplicates, so I think I'm going to forego that card. Four, steal this with that. I do need more... Um, I feel like I need more taunts. I've only got one five. I've got a couple of twos. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with that guy. Now the polymorph. Ooh, this one I remember when I was playing mage uh, was pretty useful. Uh, summons two minions that have zero two, so they can't attack uh, unless you buff them up. But they have two health and they're both taunt, so it's really good protective defensive card. Ship's cannon. So the pirate deal two damage to random enemy. I don't really have any other pirates in my deck, so I'm not gonna do that. We have a mech, gain 1-1, one, one, and add a spare part to your hand. I saw a couple of people using a couple of people using that one, but I don't think I'm gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with this. Ice Barrier. Another good defensive card. Silver Moon Guardian, Divine Shield, Battlecry summons a 2-2 Squire. Or Lord of the Arena. What should I go with? Huh. Tough choices here. I think I'm going to go with the lower cost. That also has some protection, so that'll potentially, you know, give me a free attack with that guy uh, without him damaging himself. Control a secret at the end of your turn. Restore four health to your hero. That could be useful uh, if you if you can make use of it. Your opponent puts a minion from their deck into the battlefield. That seems pretty risky. I don't know. That could actually help them. I mean, theoretically, they could wind up playing a card that they didn't want to play, and it might help, but I don't know, man. Whenever you cast a spell, gain plus two attack this turn. I'm gonna go with that. That seems like a pretty good uh, mage card to have. Sorry, card to have for a mage. Whatever. Fireball. Very useful. Uh, yeah, I'm going with that one. Another useful spell. Mana Worm. Whenever you cast a spell, gain plus one attack. Or, that thing gains plus one. That's really good, too. Supposed to cost one less. I already have one of her. I also have a lot of one cost minions. Give a minion plus two attack this turn. Hmm. Tough choice here. I'm gonna go with her because that is still pretty useful. Yeah, to make all of my spells cost less, that's that can be a lifesaver. Can be targeted by spells or hero powers. That sounds good to me. Divine Shield. Not bad. 1-1 one, one for each other friendly minion on the battlefield. That one could be super useful. Whenever this minion takes damage, draw a card. Also pretty useful. Gotta go with that guy, though. Alright, so we got six more cards to go. Flame Strike. Deal four damage to all enemy minions. Sounds good to me, but this one's also very useful. Deals three damage automatically to the enemy hero. Mm, shit. Okay. Mirror Entity. When your opponent plays a minion, summon a copy of it. That one's super useful too. Or can be. Like, if they play a big time minion, uh, you'll get a copy of that automatically on your battlefield. Very useful. Yeah, I'm going with that. Okay, Arcane Missiles. Deal three damage randomly split amongst enemy characters. War Golem or Loot Hoarder. Hmm. See, at this point, I'm kind of trying to decide if I'm going to go for a big, like, spell burn kind of car, kind of deck. I have some, I mean, I feel like I have a balance. I mean, 
arena it's so tough trying to figure out if you're it's so hard to know if you're building a good deck or one that's just going to be completely useless and obviously a lot of that depends on the type of characters and decks that you wind up going against so it's no guarantees but i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna go with that all right now i definitely need some more minions reminiscent of my hunter deck here i'm gonna go with that Earthen Ring Farseer. Restores three health. Useful. Plus one spell damage. Also useful. Put a secret from your deck into the battlefield. I'm going to go with the spell damage. Alright, this should be our last card. Ethereal Arcanist. If you control a secret at the end of your turn, gains plus two, two. Battlecry, give adjacent minions plus one and taunt. At the end of your turn, deal one damage to this minion and summon a 1-1 one, one imp. All of those can be very useful. Oh, man, okay. I'm going to go with the Defender of Argus. Yeah, so, at the end of the arena... Uh, so, okay. Get your wins counted up here, and if you lose three times, your arena is done. And as you get wins, this key will get better and better. Um, obviously, this basic key, you will still get one deck out of it. But if you can get uh, our one card pack or whatever, which I think is like five, maybe six cards that you get. I don't know. It's been a while. So we'll, we'll see together. Why not? And yeah, so basically you're trying to get wins to make your uh, key better so you can unlock more decks. So on and so forth. You can also get gold uh, from when you unlock the chest at the end, if I remember right. And you don't want to lose. Lose three times, you're done. So let's play. And these matches are still against real people, so you never know what's going to happen. So wish me luck. Fingers crossed. Oh, I wanted a damp druid. Another mage. Let's see what we got going here. You asked for it. Oh, I've never Your seen this stage before. That's cool. You apart. Okay. I don't need Pyroblast right now because it's a 10 cost card. It's going to be a while before I can play that. Confirm. Let's see what we get. It's a 6. It's not bad. Hello. Hello. Yeah, throw this out there. Why not? Pretty amazing sound. Wow. Okay, then. Transform a friendly minion into a random minion with the same cost. I'm going to wait on that. Cast spell this turn. You gain plus two attack this turn. Whatever. Taste the mana. I'll give it a shot. Oh no! I pressed the big red button. Why did I do that? It's a shoe. Do three damage to a character and freeze it. All right, all right, fair enough. I want to play this now. I'm going to wait in hopes that they will, you know, until they have more mana, in hopes that they will play a better card and I can get a copy of that. So I'm just going to draw two cards. Good. Good. Okay. I'll give it a Those shot. should be useful pretty soon. Job's done. End the turn. Lockdown, Lord. What do they get? Oh no, it's some sort of vegetable. You and adjacent minions, I don't want to play that yet. Deal six damage. Hmm. I don't want to play any of those just yet. Should I go for the damage? Or you know what? I'm gonna go with that. Job's done. Yeah. 
It's a happy bomb. This guy out there. Wait. Oh shit! I thought he was giving plus one to every other friendly minion. Damn! I should have waited till I had more minions on the battlefield, but oh well. Alright, I did that because I want to uh, buff him up a bit, right? Oh wait, no. I gotta start reading these more carefully, because that just drew a card. Still useful, but eh, probably could have waited on that. But at least if he attacks it now, he will also die. Okay, okay. Kind of a dick move there, buddy. Go to cold, freeze a minion and all and the minion next to it and deal one damage to them. Who will we get? Spell damage plus one. Hmm. Not ready for that just yet. Should get this taunt out here. What to do? What to do? Try to kill them. I'm gonna throw this out there. Then I'm gonna hit her with. Mm, you know what? Yeah, that does one damage, right? Okay, I'm going to get rid of him. There we go. These are consistent. Or die, or both. Okay, whatever. Other minions dies, draws a card. It's pretty useful. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Polymorph that lady or not. Hmm. I don't want to give her more to play with. Give her more cards. Should I sacrifice this? What to do? No, I think I'm gonna clear this out. Okay. Evened up. See what happens next. we get. Not bad. Polymorph him. <laughs> then let's do let's throw him out there. Nope, that was something different. It's a fish. Let's bring that 
a hitting thing. Ooh, that's awesome. Oh shit. Okay, that was pretty awesome. Oh man, okay. Squire, hmm. attend me. Ready, sir. Get him out there. Let's get rid of the, that guy. And yeah, that's all I can do there. Also be very useful. What to do? Okay, you know what? I am going to Get in there, this guy out here. Give him that. Then I'm going to My this out there. For and uh, hit him. Get rid of that guy. I'm also going to freeze all of his things. I'm gonna see what happens here. You might feel a little tingly. Job's done. Join. Ooh, okay. It's not bad. That's exactly what I was worried about there. Jesus. Okay. Taunt. Can't be targeted by spells or hero powers. That sucks. I need to protect myself. Uh, get behind me. Start getting rid of some of his stuff. Man, I should have. That was dumb. I should have taken out the owl. Okay, well, he's going to come out himself, so. Alright, fair enough. Speak to me. Oh, man. Yes, that's why I was worried about him getting more cards, because. It just gives you so many options. That for the minion dies, put two copies of it in your hand. Okay. Okay. Let's do that. Put this out there. Hopefully he kills that one, then I'll get two more, I guess. Not looking good for me in this game. But at least he's nearly out of cards, I guess? I don't know. Could just go straight for damage on me, though. Next year you play, cost zero. Okay, looks like he's at least thinking about targeting her some more. Alright, good. Okay. Alright, so I get two more of her. Shit. Man, okay, that's bad. What is that? Wait, destroys. Wait, what? Restores five health to the enemy hero. That's uh, an interesting card. Okay, restores four health to me. This is not going well for me though, one way or another. 
Not looking too good for me. Still restore four more next turn. Ooh. Yeah, he got me. Alright, so that's loss number one. Uh, basically, we got two lives left. Hopefully we can turn this around and do something better, get at least one win in here. That would be really nice. But hey, at least we're making progress on one of our daily challenges. Yay, okay, jumping back in. And yeah, after you've made your deck, like you can't go back and change it. You're locked in for that arena. Um, yeah, so... There's nothing else you can do but just keep rolling forward and hope you wind up with an opponent that your deck will work better against. Um, you know, and obviously, you know, this game does have a bit of random chance involved with it based on what cards you're drawing and what cards they're drawing and that sort of thing. So, you know, even though you might get your ass handed to you in one game, you Dana. can turn it around in the next one. Dana. Okay, another mage. Didn't really look at the guy's name the last time around. I don't think this is the same person. Typically, you don't wind up fighting the same people twice in a row. I'm going to a minion with Death Rattle Game plus one attack. I probably shouldn't even have bothered with that card. That's not going to be too useful for me. Um, mm, sure, let's go with those. I was thinking about getting rid of that guy and hopefully getting a lower cost card, but... Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, get her out there. That's a cool deck they got. A little pipe work there. That's kind of awesome. Oh, shit. I have to end my turn. That was dumb. Wasting time. Yeah, let's just throw this guy out here while we're at it. I'll give it a shot. Job's done. All right. <clears throat> yeah, so that's a pretty useful card there. Here, can't get rid of one of these though, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that because she's not gonna take any damage from that so if they have no attack. Um, so basically, they're just forcing you to waste some attacks on getting rid of those girls. Yeah, once again, this is the the art for this game is just top-notch, you know? I mean, it's a relatively simple game, but they do a lot to kind of dress it up and just make it look really, really nice, and I appreciate that. Okay. Let's... Well, let's get rid of this guy. And start hammering on her. In the turn. Smart move. Ooh. It's a good counter card. Hmm. Alright. Let's get a taunt down there to protect me. And get this guy out there. <clears throat> now, if you don't know or didn't watch the last stream, Wind Fury basically allows, uh, a minion with Wind Fury to attack twice in one turn. So you can attack the same person twice, or you can, you know, 
Switch it up, attack two different uh, people. Damn, damn, damn. See, that's how useful a polymorph can be. He just got rid of my taunt, turned it into something practically useless, and now he's hitting me in the face. Not fun. Okay. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna get My that up there. For and... I'm going to get rid of her. Hmm... I need to get rid of that thing, but I don't know if I should do it just yet. Could get rid of this guy... Hmm... Definitely want to keep a taunt out there, though. I can attack with him twice, though. Okay, you know what? I'm going to keep the sheep around. I'm gonna hit her once, and I'm going to get into that and price down. Oh yeah, in case you're wondering, your uh, hero power does not count as a spell. So that's why that uh, mana worm didn't increase its attack when you did that. And let me die, dies, put two copies of it into your hand. That could be useful right now. Kind of taunts to get out there. What to do? What to do? I'm gonna throw this out, and I'm gonna throw this out. Okay, good. Oh, and you know what? Okay, we're gonna do that. Oh shit! Damn it! I keep buffing that guy, and I'm not paying attention to it. Yeah, you know what, I'm going to hit him. Because he'll stay alive for now, and that could be useful for me going forward. Damn. So which one is it going to give me, though? Oh, damn, okay, that's useful. Good stuff. I'm just getting beaten down here again. Silvermoon shall not fall. My seal for Argus. Gotta get some protection up. Nothing else I can really do about it. Okay, and the turn. God damn it. Stupid polymorph bullshit. Oh <sighs> well. Yep, yep, this is gonna be it for me. I'm done. Well played. Yeah, I just could not get anything going there. Yeah. Nothing doing. It's a very sad day so far. Two losses uh, straight in the arena for me. I got one life left. I'd like to actually get something going, win at least one game, but sometimes, sometimes this is just how it goes with arena. Sometimes you're just gonna get dominated and you know made to feel like you can't do a damn thing about it. <sighs> so let's see. Maybe we'll get somebody who isn't as good or doesn't have as good a deck this time around. Coffee addict, that's me. Jaina versus Malfurion. Yeah, at least it's not another mage this time. Let's protect the one. You asked for it. 
I'm gonna hold on to those, that's a decent start. Got a spell and a couple of minions that are all low cost. I think that's a good way to start out. <clears throat> Job's done. Yep, nothing I can do there. Hello. Looks like they got a nice little uh, Pandaria themed deck there. Really do like that. I like that they added those uh, card bags. Ah, That's a nice touch. Wait. What is that? Choose one. Give each player a mana crystal or each player draws a card. Okay. Whatever's whatever. That's a spell, so that should buff her, right? Yeah. Let's get that out there. And while we're at it, yeah, let's get this one out there too. Really make her strong. Good stuff. Okay. What a rush. Hit him. Get rid of that armor. Your magic shall not save you. Those silence cards, man, they can really, uh, they can really stick it to you. See what we get. I hope you like my invention. Yeah, sucks I don't get the actual draw for that, but what you gonna do? Sometimes you just gotta take the risk. Hope it works out, sometimes it won't. Squire, attend me. Ready, sir. Really gotta take down some of their minions here. Alright. <clears throat> No reason to play this guy because there's nothing to silence on them. And those battle cries, they activate immediately, so. Nothing doing there. Do a, what eh, to do do a bit of damage, but not much. It could be useful. Yeah, let's get him out there because I got three, so that'll be a good buff for him. And. Get her out there. I'm gonna get rid of this squire by using that. And then that. There's that pen. I need to trade on this. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of him. Okay. move on his part. Got rid of that. Might wind up attacking him also. Right now that is my most powerful card that I've got. Okay. Let's see. I am going to... Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm going to polymorph that guy, because that's his strongest card on the field. I'm going to get rid of it with her. Then I'm going to go the secret out there. So hopefully he will kill him, and then I can get him back. Two copies of him. Hmm. Still has a lot more cards in his hand than I do. Really could have used some cards that allowed me to draw more. I'm mean, gonna have that arcane intellect. Uh, but that's about it. Okay, well I got one free little mana crystal there. Okay. That's rough. Okay. Trade on that, that's good. I get him back. Good shit. What do we got? Okay. Hmm. All right. I'm going to get him out there and silence that guy. That'll reduce their attack. I'm going to throw him out there. And in the turn. That is a hell of a taunt card right there. 8-8. Eight, eight. And a taunt. Like that's that's a nasty card. And that one is also. Specific to Druids, you can tell by the brown around the card there. Let's see what we can get going. Okay. Alright. Get him out there. Get this guy out there. And I've got to start breaking this guy down, so I'm going to sacrifice that one. In the turn. Hmm, two and three, so he can definitely kill him with these two, or he might have something else that can kill it. And then he'd be able to hit me with that eight. The gates are open. And that'll be bad for me. I'm ready. I'm not ready. Hmm. Oh no, I guess he wouldn't be able to do that because it'll summon two more with taunt. Okay, so that's okay for me. Or one more with taunt. Okay. Fair enough. Man. I really wish that did two damage because then I could take him out at least. Yeah, I don't think that increases it because that's not that's, that's not technically a spell. Shit. Okay. I'm gonna have to get all of this out there. Ah, spells cost one less. Why not? Just get it all out there. Just get it all out there. Now, do I get rid of him? Or do I get rid of him? Oh, man. Alright, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. Job's done. Probably gonna be a mistake. Hopefully he doesn't have anything that'll heal this guy back up, because that would really suck for me. Ah, shit, really? I can really use some silence cards here. Yeah, he's just burning me down now. Ow. Ow! Pfft. Yeah, that's a whole lot of nothing. At least I can finally get rid of that. Jesus, okay. 
I am going to... Gonna get rid of him. I just gotta anchor this up here. And that's still not gonna do me too well. Man. Once again, I just got completely neutralized here. I was just not able to get anything going. Yeah, it's pretty much over. Don't really think I can come back from this. <laughs> yeah. This would be a damn miracle if I can actually pull this off. And that's not necessarily going to do it, so... My magic will tear you apart. Yeah. No, it's not. My magic will not tear from apart. At least I can play with this sweet catapult. Woo! Oh, God. Yeah. Yep. Yep. I could let him kill me, kill me, but I think I'm just gonna concede. There's no way. I go out on my terms, damn it! Eh, what you gonna do? So that's it. That was three and zero in our zero and three in an arena. Like I said, that's just kind of how it goes. But let's see what we get. So click the key. It opens the chest. And thirty gold and a deck. Ooh, or is that a deck back? That's a cool looking thing. Oh, good job. Feel free to try another run in the arena if you save that. Oh, okay, that is a go. Okay. My wife is informing me that that is a goblins and gnomes deck. Alright, so let's see what we got. Throw that in there. Shielded mini box. Mechanical Yeti. Salty Dog. Seal of Light. That's a Paladin card. I'm probably never going to make use of that. And a Rare Shadow Boxer. Alright, well. Did not go anywhere near as well as I was hoping. But that's just the way it is. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll look into that stuff later. So let's see if we can do a bit of a solo adventure here. Naxoramus. Do normal. Alright, let's see. Seven bucks. Sure. Yep. Uh, okay. Let's see. Right, I am going to stop the stream for just a moment so I can do this real quick. And I will be back momentarily.